got one straggler that's like halfway between up there. It's walking back down right now. It's like my one that will walk apparently. Hi, baby. What you doing? What you doing, boo? What you doing? You walking? You walking, girl? You walk, girlfriend. You got a full crop, ma'am. You got a full crop. Hey guys, welcome to Three Mississippi. Sid here. Thanks for clicking on the video. This week, Mike is on vacation and we have a long list of chores that we want to get through on Mike's spring break. We are going to be making a couple of dump loads and getting some wonderful compost from our buddy's farm. And we have a lot to do. And we're moving the chicken tractor because, well, we've hit the end of the road as far as I want to have to Jack and Jill buckets of water out. So we got to flip her around. Let's go. loved you since the day you left me Good timing's never been my thing I reckon ain't no way to prove love So I'm just to pray that you trust me when I say oh baby I need you now I'm such a fool I made a mess Mistaken, baby Believe me now I'm begging you You just gotta Take it on Take it on faith Take it on faith Frankie's over here doing donuts But I'll love you till the day I die I'm ready for quiet life Yes, I was born a rambling man But I done did all the rambling that any man can And baby, I need you now It's been about two weeks since we rotated the big compost pile that we've been working on So she's flipped it and added to it from over here and rotated it over there And she's flattening out this area She's driving on two wheels. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Now just straighten it all up. That looks good. That's that's the that's the cut. Now get it all nice and level. Any extra dirt, just pull it down there and use it down there. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you know this this slopes slightly to the south, which is good, but down here at the at the very south end slopes back up just enough that the, that the water's not really draining out of my rows it's it's sitting there so we're just doing a little bit of, of dirt work down here so that those rows will completely drain you know we a lot of these things don't want to be sitting in soggy they don't like to have wet feet so um 10 or 15 minutes worth of you know we're losing about six feet of a couple of rows and as we get down to the end we're, we're angling it so we're losing as little as possible but uh, it's got to be able to drain. Oh, she's going to destroy that anthill.
Frank is switching out the forks on the tractor so that we can actually move the chicken tractor out in the pasture because it's way down there. I've been pulling it every day. I pull it the length of the tractor to give the birds fresh pasture. Well, kind of reached the end of the run there. Uh, so we need to flip her around, bring it up top. We're close to processing a bunch of them this next week. So um, we want to have it closer up here anyway. Once you grab uh, a little bit of chicken feed, you're going to need some boots. We get asked a lot about the muck boots that everybody sees us wearing in our videos. These are high sea boots. We've been wearing them since we got to Mississippi. And they're actually today's video sponsor. And uh, I'm gonna show you some of the new boots that they just sent us in just a little while. But these are my old trusty tall ones. We're about to go get into some mud out there. So I'm wearing my, my old tall ones, but I got some new nice short ones that are great for summer. High C is a US-based company that was founded in 2011, and we've been working with them for the last year and a half. First off, they offer an amazing lifetime, 100-year product warranty, which is unmatched. Their products will keep you 100% dry and warm, and they're perfect for farm and yard, working, gardening, hunting, and fishing. There are so many different styles of boots to choose from, from tall waders and rain boots to different styles of ankle boots, which are great for summer. Mike's got a pair of the men's ankle height garden boots, which he is really excited about. They have a durable rubber sole that provides excellent stability and slip resistance on uneven terrain. They are waterproof and comfortable, yet very breathable. High C boots are the only muck boots that I've ever worn that have not made my feet and ankles and legs just completely be covered in sweat when I take them off. The neoprene in these boots really help with shock absorption and insulation, keeping you warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Frankie and I each got a pair of the women's waterproof insulated outdoor rain boots. These boots are a mix of rubber and leather and a little bit of polyester for flexibility. Again, they will keep your feet dry and comfortable in any weather. They're great for trucking through the Mississippi mud. And I like that they're easy to slip on and off when I'm trying to run out the door. High C boots are really comfortable, guys. I have stood for hours working in these boots uh, in several of the different designs of them. And they all keep me comfortable and keep my feet and back from hurting like crazy. And they can take a beating. So check out the link below in the description. You'll get 15% off for all high C products. This includes their waders and all styles of the boots. Use discount code TCR15. A little bit of grower feed. Get us out there. Because the birds are gonna be moving everywhere they want to when we try to move this tractor. So I have to, gotta have something to entice them besides, as Mike calls it, can't you just do your snow white thing and they'll follow you? on a different path every time right so we're gonna move the chicken tractor to up there by that old bale of hay that way you can easily move it downhill that way day. i can move it back down here and then this next week we'll, we'll be processing and then the next batch that comes out in here we'll start them up there on that yeah. side of every, the fence yeah, every time we start them in a spot where we can move them downhill every day easily but they'll never be on the same spot of grass where somebody's been this year. Fertilize it all. Fertilize it all. If you say what you mean And I listen close Then I'll know what you mean So the theory goes here in the real world, it don't work that way. You claim I don't hear anything you say. 
The myth of translation Says words can convey Intentions and meaning From your heart to my brain Miscommunication Has plainly been framed The myth of translation Is clearly to blame We feed our children All flavors and lies Sweet deception Ask the taste of life We teach them to listen We sing or speak your mind They grow up and leave us And we wonder why Ooh, The myth of translation Since words can convey Best laid plans. It didn't go as planned, but they're taking them up to the top of the hill again to unload them and then we're gonna unload up the rest of these in those carriers and they'll take the players back up there and wrap them off. It is what it is. <sighs> so much easier if they just follow me but they don't want to walk. I got one straggler that's like halfway between up there. It's walking back down right now. It's like my one that will walk apparently. The rest of these guys don't want to walk. Hi, baby. What you doing? What you doing, boo? What you doing? You walking? You walking, girl? You walk, girlfriend. You got a full crop, ma'am. You got a full crop. But guys, this is actually kind of cool. I mean, it's not often you get to see meat birds actually getting to act like chickens, you know? Walking, pecking in the grass eating the bugs out of the ground and the grass and the grains and all the goodies out there. I mean, they're going crazy. But this is why their meat is gonna be so much better because they get to do all this. And in the chicken tractor, they're able to do it on a fresh, fresh patch every day, protected from predators, because obviously I can't just sit out here all day with them. So, there you have it. From my heart to your brain Miscommunication Has plainly been framed The myth of translation Is clearly to trips because we couldn't fit the last four uh, safely in either of those carriers with those birds because you don't want to squish them in too tight because they'll freak out they'll hurt each other they'll get squished and you can end up with a dead bird by the time you get up to the top of the hill so I'd rather make the extra tri trip and make sure that everybody arrives alive so that's what we're doing so now I'm just babysitting these little guys down here <laughs> but this line right here that's our this side's property line so we were kind of out of room right here and then we're you know if i keep going straight back we're gonna hit the culvert um so we needed to move this anyway <sighs> it would have been more convenient not to have to do it while we had birds out here of course lesson learned we won't do it this way again <laughs> I will make do <laughs> next time uh, we'll figure something else out but I wanted to do it on a piece that was totally flat like honestly like there's a stretch right here problem is it's too far away from everything and 
even taking buckets of water out to them every day. Um, I take them out now on the Polaris uh, with a cover on it so I can fill up their water, but yeah, it's still kind of a pain. <laughs> so we are stopped at a neighboring farm right now and we are picking up some, I guess some, some kind of shavings that Mike talked to the guy about that they had extra of and I think it's to like line his rose with. I don't know if it's pine, I think it's pine shavings. I'm not sure. But we pulled up and there's a giant pallet, which obviously is not going to fit in the truck. So, uh, then he disappeared into the greenhouse. And so I'm just cooling my heels in the truck. But then we, Mike's got a, uh, then we're going to run into town. Mike's got a dentist appointment, so I'll drop him off at that. And then I'm gonna run uh, to pick up that bag of feed that the feed store owes me. When I got feed the other day, they, they missed one bag and I didn't realize it until I was home and unloading. And then uh, then we gotta swing by our buddy Bart, who does the Chickasaw honey and runs the farmer's market in town and pick up a dump trailer that he's letting us borrow. And then I just realized this afternoon um, that I have Bunko tonight, which was not on my agenda, but it is now. So I gotta make sure I make it to Bunko tonight too. And Mike is gonna have to pick up Frankie tonight at seven o'clock from school because uh, she's got part of her audition for Color Guard. So it's a busy day. And I still have some more filming I gotta do and some more things I gotta do at home. And I was hoping this afternoon to be able to pressure wash part of the house, but I don't think that's gonna happen today. Might be for tomorrow. We'll see. Too low, they're hitting my tailgate. Plan B. Plan B. What's plan B? This. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's plan B? You're doing it. <laughs> Did you get any footage of loading it up? No, because I was going to get footage of the dump. Oh, shoot. But we still have to go get uh, hog compost. We'll be able to film all that. All right. So it's like the secret, super secret dump. Yeah. No cell phones allowed. Only one person allowed to get outside of the truck at any time. What and, do they uh, think you're going to do? Hide a body? I don't know. But And then, and then you had to wear PPE, which they loaned me because I didn't know to bring it. Uh, so, yeah, you're not allowed to film anything at the dump in Houston. Huh. Not allowed to get a cell phone out of the truck. Like, I don't even think they want you taking pictures that of anything at the dump. So strange. I'm it's, sure there's a reason for it, but... Well, and there were also signs everywhere, no scavenging allowed. So like, it I get it. Has something to do with that. Yeah, I get it. But still, who knew? Well, this had a bunch of stuff in it. 
all the stuff that was piled up over here that's not piled up over there anymore. We gotta try to get these boards out of here. I don't think these boards, I don't think these boards have been taken out in a, in a couple years. Hmm. You know what, I'll tell you what, see if you can get the lip of the tractor bucket right under this board. Mm -hmm. See if, this is tight right here. See if you can get it lined up sideways and we're gonna to try to lift this board out with the tractor bucket. If that doesn't work, we'll cut it off. Well, my grandpa still remembers when that pole went in the ground. That was the day they strung together everything in town. And all these obsolete wires you still see just hanging in the air. They were the mayor's role. Every factory was a prayer Oh, I know Everything still has some beauty in it Oh, I don't know If anybody here can even see it Maybe it just doesn't matter Paint and broken glass Crumbling architecture Forgotten pieces of the past So let the night 
get cold, let the walkways crack, let the weeds poke through the ground. They're only begging for a chance to prove that they can make it in this town. Oh, I know everything still has some beauty in it. pasture but with the rain event we had yesterday everything's too muddy so i'm actually going to put this in the front yard far enough away from the house that you know in a spot under this pine tree where stuff hadn't really started growing back yet and then when things start to dry out we'll have to move it uh but i know somebody's gonna say you know why didn't you just wait well this was the week that i had time to get this done got a couple days off work and this was the week that I had, was able to borrow the dump trailer, so is what it is. Is what it is. Oh, it's got a button. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, calm down. And the button is flipped. That's exactly why. Always check. We leave the uh, negative terminal off the battery while we're driving because otherwise this thing might go like this if this button gets got. Just electrocuted yourself. Goes high. Woo! <laughs> That's a cool little contraption. You want one now, don't you? Oh, I need one of these. I don't know how much one of these costs, but <laughs> probably not. I would use it. Probably, a lot. probably not cheap. But here's the thing: the guy I borrowed this from, Bart, the honeybee guy, he needs compost too. So my goal is try to make him some compost while I'm making my compost as like a payment for borrowing the dump trailer. And then remember to disconnect the negative just in case the thing bounces around and that switch gets toggled. Otherwise you'll be going down the freeway and this thing will you don't want that. Dump out. And that, my friends, is some stinky dirt. So what do you think? Was that about 
half, a third. Uh, how much we got over there to get? I'd say it's close to a half, maybe a little bit less. You think I'll get two loads more or one and a half? Probably, you might get two. Ugh, that's never coming off of your hands. Well, look at this. That's, that's dark. This is like well your composted. This was sitting there for a few years. Don't like that on your clothes. You're going to church. Yeah, I'm going to have to sit in the back. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, I don't have time to shower. Uh, yeah, well. Change your pants before we go. I, Just cha cha I'm going to change my shoes, and I'm going to sit in the back. God will be all right. You don't mind. <laughs> Nobody else in the church will be. <laughs> God can't smell you. It's been a crazy busy week, but we appreciate you guys for tagging along on the journey. Don't forget to check that link down below in the description, guys, uh, to see about getting your own pair of high C boots with the discount TCR 15. High C was also nice enough to give us an extra pair of boots to give away, which we will be doing at the meetup in May at Blue Mountain Lake in Arkansas. So I'm really excited about that. So as always, guys, stay blessed and safety's off.